the answer for it is that x inactivation means that singly we have male we have female two types of cell male and female two types of organ organism the idea is the gene i mean the genes that are present in the chromosome x should be expressed equally in female as well as in male the rule of equality here those genes that are present in X chromosome should be expressed equally in male and female. Remember, in male, there is only one X chromosome. So, a way of expression is there, a degree of expression of X chromosome is there. But in female, there are two X chromosomes, right? So, if all of those chromosomes express things, so twice, every product will be produced twice. But that is prevented, that is not wanted in cell. So, only one X should be expressed, another X should be inactivated. It's about equality. The genes that are present in female, as it is duplicated, we should block one X and allow one X to be expressed, right? Now, why? Because, you know, it's about equality, I've told you. Because in a cell, in, a, in, a, in an organism, if you see, the chromosomes are same. The X chromosome contains all the same type of genes. And we don't want duplicate copies of the same product in that case why one simple reason is that for producing proteins from mrna we require a lot of atp lot of energy lot of resources going in there why what is required because let's say from one x chromosome let's this is an x chromosome and there is a gene there is a gene present in that x chromosome we we just uh, transcribe it to an mrna so we produce the mrna now, if once we produce the mRNA, we can take that mRNA and we can produce as many amount of protein as we want from that mRNA. So, what is the requirement? If we, if there are two copies of it, it's not a good idea to copy multiple uh, times of the same mRNA. It's not required. If, however, if one mRNA is uh, kind of defective, let's say one region is mutated or defective, then only we can shift and produce. Otherwise, it's not required. Right? It's a common logic. And another thing, it was listed that activating both two X chromosomes sometimes cross inactivate other products and that can be lethal for the organism. So, the organism may die. So, prevent this to prevent these two things, X inactivation performed. X inactivation also called as, it's called as, you know, uh, what is that? I forgot the term. Dosage compensation, right. Uh, yeah, it's called dosage compensation. You know, again, the term dosage compensation, dosage means, you know, the dosage of all these single X chromosome genes and it is compensated, right, for the female, for the female because we have double duplicated chromosome. That's why. Okay. Now, if you see here, the example, what you will get is in case of calico cats. And not only, you, you will see this example many times. If you see some cat, you will see that they have this patchy appearance. They have the black fur, they have the brown fur and all these different regions out there. Say here, capital B, this is the dominant allele for the black fur. While the Y is a recessive allele and it gives us a yellow fur. So, so here in case of uh, male, it doesn't create any problem. In case of male X, Y, so the X, carry, X, X can carry either B or either yellow, then there will be Y. So it depends on, if, if in case of male it is X, B, Y, then it will be black. If it's X, Y, Y, then it will be yellow. Complete black or complete yellow for male, for male calico cats. But for female calico cats, you will see that this X, B or X, Y, this is the possibility. Both of them are there. But we know that the genes that are present in both of them are kind of same. So, we don't want the whole copy. We want to uh, inactivate one X. So, if we inactivate this Y, I mean this XY gene, in that case XB remains, it add the black fur. In other cases, in some other place of the body, XB gets inactivated, XY activated. So, it added the yellow fur. It does not necessarily mean that for the all cell of the body, only one chromosome should be inactivated. Never. Because the process, because we will be seeing how this process actually is going on. That's why we will be able to understand. 
but the idea again that in some cell it's a random inactivation actually random inactivation in some cell xb can be inactivated in some other cell xy is inactivated and we produce different types now this is an example of calico cat you will see female calico cat obviously because this pattern is shown in females and the idea is it take one chromosome completely okay it keeps that one x chromosome okay let's say xb on the other hand other chromosome it compress that chromosome condense that chromosome into a smaller one and then try to attach this chromosome to the nuclear envelope see this is the nucleus this is that chromosome very condensed other while other chromosomes are larger this chromosome is very small and this is attached with the nuclear envelope and this small condensed chromosome is known as bar body okay now let's look at what is the mechanism behind this process yeah that's what we're talking about devraj right now we'll talk about details this is the regulation the regulation is see the process of this x inactivation occurs in again three different stages because in all this case what we study today we'll see all the regulation events occur in three simple stages one is the process generation of this a process second one is the maintenance of this process and third one is the transfer of this process so in this case you'll see see carefully that these are the cells right somatic this is the early embryo early embryo cells and all these early embryo cells there are multiple cells right and these cells are destined to produce several different regions let's say the far far of that person and uh, far of that cat so here let's say small b for white far black i mean capital b for the black far alien now two different chromosomes are given small b is for the purple capital b is for the blue now what happens random inactivation occurs this is the first thing how the inactivation occurs random inactivation so say in some cell blue gets condensed purple is okay in some case purple gets condensed blue is okay see these are the two variety that is possible due to the random inactivation so as the random inactivation occurs remember second is a maintenance maintenance means simply so once this cell now see this cell as an example in this cell capital b is okay but small b is not there due to the inactivation so once this cell will divide and it will produce other cells in all those cells produced from this cell will have the same pattern see they will have the same pattern while if you see if you take if you take this one all the cells it will produce have the same small b like that okay and then they will grow so that's why you will see this dark and white patches now how this process is exactly regulated in the molecular level for the regulation of this process it requires two important regions one is x inactivation center x inactivation center xic another one is x control element x chromosome control element x inactivation center these are the two things that are required for the regulation of x inactivation so if you see x ic or x inactivation center consists of several different genes among them two genes are very very important one is called zist x i s t another one is t6 zist and t6 the idea is that there are two way the mechanism may happen let's first look at the xic way then you'll see xc way the xic way this is xic region contains zist and t6 and these two these two genes they transcribe from the opposite direction that's why the arrow is denoted here transcribe from the opposite direction in this x zist i mean xist once this xist is activated once this gene is active i mean uh, up 
activated so the mrna of the gene will be produced the expression of this gene occur expression of xist occur once this is occur it produce xist rna now this xist rna coats this whole chromosome lots of xist rnas are produced remember not the proteins the rna they will coat this chromosome completely once the xist coats the chromosome completely it will bring some proteins and those proteins will ultimately condense this chromosome into smaller one okay the compaction will be done by the proteins but at the very beginning this rna is covering this whole thing on the other hand there is a t6 gene right next to xic region i mean exist t6 transcribe from other direction if t6 is produced in larger quantity if t6 produced in larger quantity this t6 gene product the protein will be produced and they will be added to the promoter as a result of that the exist production the exist mrna production will be halted so a t6 is a regulatory gene for exist right if the transcription occurs and start from this end and the transcription occurs or exist very very fast before the t6 is accumulated in that case they will produce enough t exist and it will cover then the proteins will come and compaction will be done but if t6 produced and the mrna will be translated into proteins and those protein will uh, bound with this promoter segment and block the transcription of exist gene so then this whole process will be halted this is one way of explaining you know all these things uh, i have taken all these things from papers and all this because these ideas are newer ideas i mean uh, and also updated day by day now if we take the xc element idea on the other hand some other papers are also considering the xc element xc on the other hand x chromosome control element x chromosome control element means this section is a very vital region in the x chromosome which controls some important functionality of the x chromosome right for example this xc regions it it is not very much clear but again xc produces certain proteins which is very very important for the regulation of transcription of both exist as well as t t6 exist as well as t6 and that is that's why xc placed very nearby this exist and t6 region so if xc e is present x chromosome x chromosome control element which is a vital element if this element is present more often in an x chromosome if it is present more often in a x chromosome then that x chromosome considered to be a valid one so they will not compact that chromosome they will not inactivate that chromosome in some other chromosome where the xc is present less that chromosome is considered to be less valuable so they will inactivate that x chromosome let's say there are two x chromosome in one x chromosome the xc found more and in other xc is less so once this variations of xc is there they will make the compaction of this less xc containing chromosome so these are the two way that this regulation of x inactivation possible see here <laughs> the place of xc in both of them right so we consider that this should be inactivated so what happens uh, the t6 i mean exist gene start transcribing the mrna it will cover it and then the proteins will condense it to the bar body and the rest of rest remains as, as okay that's how this thing is done and the maintenance is carried because you know at the very beginning random inactivation like that occur, occurs but after that from that single cell every single cell once let's say this is the parent cell from that parent cell whatever cell is produced it will always keep that bar body as it place and keep the other chromosome as active from that cell it will never happen that this chromosome gets bar body and this bar body cell uh, bar body chromosome gets activated never happens 
okay this is called the maintenance remember okay and the replication also the replication always done for the bar body also the replication of bar body is completely different it's slightly different than the uh, the general replication of a chromosome because lot of protein condenser proteins are there so we need to remove them prior to the access to the dna then the process done upon the process is complete upon the dna replication is done that chromosome again repacked as a bar body 